Let's discuss an asthma attack, a condition that causes the airways to become inflamed and narrowed, leading to difficulty breathing. Here is everything you need to know about an asthma attack. An asthma attack occurs when the muscles surrounding the airways tighten, the lining of the airway swells, and excess mucus is produced, making it difficult for air to move in and out of the lungs. This combination of factors significantly reduces airflow and leads to respiratory distress. The term asthma refers to a chronic condition that affects the airways, while attack refers to an acute worsening of symptoms that requires immediate intervention. The airways in the lungs, also known as the bronchi and bronchioles, are responsible for allowing oxygen to reach the alveoli, where gas exchange occurs. During an asthma attack, the airway walls become inflamed and swollen, and the surrounding muscles constrict, leading to bronchoconstriction. This significantly reduces airflow and makes breathing difficult. In addition, excessive mucus production further narrows the airway, making it even harder to breathe. The most common triggers for an asthma attack include allergens such as pollen, dust mites, pet dander, and mold. It also includes respiratory infections, cold air, exercise, strong odors or fumes, and finally, stress. Some individuals experience attacks due to irritants like smoke or air pollution. Patients experiencing an asthma attack often present with severe shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, and chest tightness. Wheezing is a key diagnostic feature of asthma. Characterized by a high-pitched whistling sound heard primarily during exhalation and heard in the lower airway. This wheezing sound occurs as a result of the air trying to move through the narrow passages. Other symptoms include tachypnea or fast breathing, increased work of breathing, accessory muscle use, and cyanosis or blue coloring of the skin in severe cases. An asthma attack can progress to status asthmaticus, a life-threatening condition where the airway obstruction becomes so severe that normal breathing is no longer possible, leading to respiratory failure. If untreated, hypoxia and hypercapnia can develop, putting the patient at risk of cardiac arrest. A key indicator of late-stage asthma is diminished or absent lung sounds. This only occurs when the bronchoconstriction becomes so bad that the air can barely or no longer move freely through the airway passages. To manage an asthma attack, you should first assess to see if the patient has a prescribed inhaler. Inhalers are often prescribed to patients who have a history of asthma, as the medications in the inhaler can relieve the symptoms of an asthma attack. This is because the medications cause bronchodilation, which will open up the bronchial tubes and reverse the bronchial constriction that occurs with asthma. Most of these medications are referred to as beta-2 agonist medications. If you are an ALS provider, you can administer a beta-2 agonist medication such as albuterol via a nebulizer without needing to use the patient's prescribed inhaler. In addition, ALS providers can often administer other medications if indicated. If you are assisting the patient with their prescribed inhaler, you should ensure that they are sitting upright, then shake the inhaler and have the patient exhale fully before sealing their lips around the mouthpiece. As they press the inhaler, instruct them to take a slow deep breath in, hold it for a few seconds, and then exhale slowly. A spacer device may be used if available to ensure the proper medication administration. These spacer devices can make it easier for the medication to be inhaled properly. For BLS providers, if an inhaler is unavailable, you should provide supportive care and rapidly transport the patient to the hospital. Want to watch the full video? Watch the full video and get so much more with your full access membership by going to howtonremt.com or scanning the on-screen QR code now.